guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd take the opportunity to show off my new Faraday cage for my projector. So this whole channel started with the Faraday cage videos that I put up after the 4.3 update. The Faraday cage that I made, you can check it out in the first video that, I, that I've made. It was made out of craft wood. It was very functional. Um, it, it worked really well but it didn't look the best and it was very big and bulky on my projector. So what I wanted to do was actually 3D print one because I thought it could be a lot smaller, a lot lighter, a lot more professional. And so I asked one of my mates who has a 3D printer if he would actually mind printing me the frame. And what he ended up doing is going above and beyond and he actually made the whole Faraday cage for me. So what he did was he came over, had a look, got the measurements, actually off the Optoma website for the, the projector that I'm using. And then he just added a little bit of fat on either side and a bit of room at the back just so the cables can come up. And then he went away and 3D printed the actual frame for me. I was gonna use the same mesh that I showed off in the first two videos I, I put up. However, he used a metal fly screen that you can just get from the local hardware store here. And I've done a lot of thorough testing and this thing actually works just as good as the mesh that I bought online. And it's a lot cheaper and a lot easier to get. So yeah, overall, really happy with the Faraday Cage 2.0. It looks a lot more professional. It doesn't take up as much space and it just looks sleeker and just makes this place look and feel a lot more professional. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.